I've been very fortunate in the last few years. I have entered the circle of some, some pretty profound thinkers, uh, thought leaders, business uh, leaders, and they've had a tremendous impact on me. And that has never been more true than in the last month uh, with people having their lives completely turned upside down, being forced to stay home. Uh, these leaders have, have really helped me to keep a clear mind about this, stay optimistic and hopeful about the future. And I, I've been thinking about doing these videos for a while now because knowledge that isn't shared is just knowledge. I don't think it becomes wisdom until you share it with others. I've been getting these great insights and I thought, well, if I don't share this with others, I'm being selfish. So um, very few of these will be original thoughts from me, maybe one or two, but uh, these come from some great people. But I just want to give credit to them wherever I can. If I fail to do that from time to time, I apologize. It's not intentional. I wanted to start uh, the first in this series of videos with the concept that, uh, do you realize that you've already been inoculated against the virus? I'm not talking about the coronavirus. I'm talking about the virus of negativity, fear, lack, scarcity mentality, all those feelings that have been triggered by this virus and its impact on us across the world. I say you've been inoculated against this, and I have to put a, a caveat there. If you're 20 years old or older, you've been inoculated against it. What does that mean? Well, let's go back a few years. In 2008, we had the Great Recession. It was triggered by a collapse in the um, real estate market. In 2001, terrorists attacked the, the Twin Towers in the Pentagon. We had 9-11. Each of those events triggered the exact same types of feelings that we're going through right now. I was born into the Vietnam era. That was a difficult time for the United States. It was a lot of civil unrest in the 60s. Uh, in 1973, I can clearly remember uh, the Watergate scandal that broke uh, after President Nixon had been reelected and, and the distrust that we had with politicians and the oil, uh, uh, the oil embargo from the Arabs in the mid 70s. And it just goes on and on and on. Every single time those events trigger our kind of reptilian brain to go into this fight, flight or freeze mode. So the circumstances may be different. But if you're watching this, you've been through this before. And, and I mention this because every time you go through one of these, you get a little bit thicker skin, so to speak. You realize, wait a minute, this is tough. It's almost a dangerous situation, but we've been through it before we survived. Not only did we survive, in most cases, we've thrived. We come out of it stronger on the other end because we've learned something valuable. Now keep in mind that every time one of these situations has happened, the headlines, if you go back in history, you'll see that the headlines essentially are saying the same thing. You get the impression the world's coming to an end. We're never going to get out of this. This is the worst thing that's ever happened. The wording may be a little bit different, but the emotions they generate are exactly the same. And if you're feeling that way right now, just know we've been through it. You've been through it. We got through it. What I would challenge you to do is go back in time. And if you were young back then, in 2001, 2008, maybe you just weren't aware of how severe the situations were, talk to your family and ask them, what were the strategies we used? What did we do to get through that financially, uh, physically, emotionally? You know, what, what did we do to not only just survive through it, but lay the foundation to, to thrive when it was over? Those are the strategies we need today. Let's not focus on the news headlines that are designed to make us feel fear and panic so we'll continue to watch. Let's start thinking about the strategies that worked before that will work again. So that's my challenge to you. Understand that you've been inoculated against this virus of negativity, fear, and panic. You know how to do this. You just got to reconnect with the strategies you used before. Uh, tomorrow, I'll give you some insight into a terrific tool that I use that was shared with me um, or was given to me by Scott Mann, my uh, friend who's a retired Green Beret. It's been a terrific way to start the day and set myself up for every possible success and not get sucked into all the negativity of this virus and its um, impact on us. Hope you have a great day. Look forward to talking with you tomorrow.